Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Quantum Leap Futures Morning Leap. This is our pre-market session where we take a look at the market macro to, the, macro to micro, the structure. We drill down and uh, set our targets for the day, uh, where our trade levels are going to be, and what our main hypothesis is. My name is Doug McKay. I am the founder of Quantum Leap and the head moderator. Uh, please read the disclaimer. Um, nobody at Quantum Leap is a certified trading advisor. We are retail traders operating within a self-organized learning environment. Past performance is not indicative of future results in any trades that you see in Quantum Leap. Are for education purposes only. Please trade your own plan, your own due diligence. It is a subscription room, although this is not a commercial venture. Uh, I do charge for the room. Uh, we are a small group of retail traders. We've been in one shape or form together now for over seven years. Uh, if you want to be part of the group or come in for a free trial, uh, send me a uh, email at uh, quantumleapfutures at gmail.com or just simply give me a call on my cell phone, 647-545-8065. Of course, you will need a Skype uh, um, account because we use Skype to chat uh, during the course of the day and the night. So uh, it's free, free to open up a Skype account. Send me a uh, contact request at Doug under, underscore McKay. I'll be the one from Windsor, Ontario, Canada. And of course, there's uh, probably about 300 uh, of these videos, 300 days of pre-market. If you want to get a good look at what we do every day and what our track record is, just do a search on YouTube, Quantum Leap Features. Uh, and then, of course, if you like what we do, uh, follow me on Twitter at Crazy2, K-R-A-Z-Y-T-O-O. -O. Okay. So let's just uh, take a look at, uh, we don't, I forgot to pull up the news, so let me just pull up the news here. All right, so the news today is pretty much non-existence. We had some uh, Canadian news this morning. Um, we had uh, RMPI and IPPI and uh, really no big uh, change in either one of those. Those aren't going to move the, the market. So we're news free for the rest of the day other than headline news. Uh, I do want to pull this up. This is the uh, geometric chart I've been following as of late and um, there's three forks on this uh, on this chart. There's a weekly fork which is the overall downward sloping fork then there's the daily upward sloping fork and then there's a four-hour uh, downward sloping fork. <clears throat> and you can see that we pretty much, other than when we dip, di di dip down below uh, the upward sloping fork, we've been holding the lower line. And if you actually understand ge uh, you know, geometrics, uh, market geometry, I could put an extension line here, and you can see that it would pretty much, much match the extension line inside of here. So we're in a pretty tight uh, channel right now. But what's interesting is, is we're failing to get above and hold above the longer term upward sloping fork. And but we're failing to break. So we're in this consolidation range. And there was this energy point between the two forks uh, right here today. And right here, we've, we've now hit this energy point. And this is one of the things that I look for with uh, market geometry and you spe specifically using forks is these energy points because they give you not just a, uh, a price point, they also, <clears throat> they also give you a, uh, a, you know, a time as well. And uh, generally they're pretty darn accurate, especially on the lar larger time frame uh, charts. And you can see we've uh, we come down at that uh, 85, 86 area and uh, tested uh, this level today in the Globex. Uh, this is a 24-hour uh, uh, chart that I'm using. So the key level right now is really going to be, do we hold above, uh, I would say, the overnight low at 83 and a quarter? Or, you know, uh, you know, do we go up and to finally uh, break out of this downward sloping fork? You can see that uh, that energy point is right there. And uh, that's going to be a defining line for us uh, today. Um, so just keep an eye on that. What I like to do each morning is I like to start out with a basic chart and work my way down, just taking a look at the different uh, time frames 
uh, and I use a standard uh, candlestick chart with a 9 EMA and a 20 SMA and I'm looking for slope and separation and where it's being challenged. Uh, you can see we've had this beautiful, uh, you know, rally for, you know, three years and, uh, you know, just lately in, you know, September and uh, uh, August and September, we were challenging that trend and now we've broken back above and we're getting slope although we don't have separation, so they have not accelerated the trend. The trend is weak, but it is intact still on the monthly. On the weekly, we have this uh, weekly cup and handle that long-term gives us projected moves into the 2200s, but it is a weekly pattern, so we just have to uh, keep that intact. Right now, we're getting slope and uh, separation. Uh, we did challenge the uh, the trend here, and it looked like we were starting a downward, longer time frame uh, trend down, and then October took us right back up. And so far in November, we're uh, we're holding above the nine and the twenty, and uh, getting some acceleration to the upside. On the uh, daily, well, we've uh, you know we came down, challenged the trend that we had going, and now they're back above the nine and the twenty and we're more consolidation and, uh, you know, possibility of, uh, of trend continuation, but it is more consolidating right now. Going into the intraday, see how we are doing in our trends coming into this RTH market. But you can see that this, uh, this four hour is pretty much uh, consolidation and going sideways. Um, we are trading just right at the 20 right now we've rejected the nine uh and we've come down and we had a close overnight uh below the 20 and now they're coming back up to uh challenge it and that's sitting right at the 87. now the 86.75 86.70 is going to become more important as we go uh further because we've been watching the longer term price uh, acceptance and that uh, where that composite VPOC shift uh, has been happening between 84 and a quarter and 78.50. Now 86.75, 87 is coming into play and we could skip right over the uh, 84 and a quarter and get a composite VPOC shift up here. And you can see how the four hours playing into it because we're sitting right on the 20 right now at the 87. But sideways consolidation on the four hour. On the one hour, a little bit of a different story. We're starting to see some weakness come in here. Uh, we had a start of a downward trend, created the uh, technical gap, closed the tech gap, tried to get above and hold above the nine, and now in the last hour we've come back down and we're we're we've re rejected the 20 SMA to the tick, and now we're below the nine and we're getting possibility of continuation to the downside. Uh, going to the 30 minute. Nice strong trend, pretty much, uh, you know, through the Globex, and then <coughs> they, you know, the buyers stepped in down here at the 83 uh, level and brought it back up into the 90s. Now we're getting a break back below, so more consolidation with the possible, uh, you know, uh, bull, a bearish uh, flag to the downside on the 30 minute. On the 15 minute, same thing, a strong trend. They challenged it. They tried to hold, now they're broken back below, and we're below the 9 and the 20. And then last but not least, the five minutes. We've got, uh, you know, a start of uh, a stronger trend down with slope and separation. We do have a possible FUBAR, Mr. Sneaky, setting up here, coming into the half-hour flip. Um, so he's keeping an eye on this to see if this uh, sets up as the Mr. Sneaky. This is the Foo Bar here. There's the tech gap. There's possible Mr. Sneaky inside bar. So we could get a rally back up. Uh, test of the uh, of the close of the gap will bring us up into the 88.75. Now that 88 and a quarter seems to be uh, 88 and a quarter, 88.50 a key level for us. Uh, it's where we closed on uh, on Wednesday. Uh, it was the VPOC on Wednesday, um, and it was our 12:30 number uh, as well. So you know, it's 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 got some significance right now, and I think it will be tested uh, today on the RTH. Um, so let me just uh, go to the big picture. This is what I'm talking about in terms of this 86.75. 
the uh, 4-day uh, microcomposite VPOC uh, is at 86.75. You can see that you know the volume on the 86.75 is getting, I think, bigger than the 84.50, 84 and a quarter. So we can possibly get a composite VPOC shift. This composite runs back to uh, January 1st of 2013. So it's the most traded price right now going all the way back to the beginning of 2013 at uh, 78.50. But it was up here at 84 and a uh, quarter, 84.50, and we've been playing this composite VPOC uh, ping pong, and we could get a, a hop right over the 84.50 up into the 86. Watch for that today. That's going to be very significant. But we do have undetermined fair value between the 87, 86.75, 84. Uh, 50 and the 78.50 and then the overall, let me see if we get it, overall VPOC shift was I bring in uh, Wednesday's data. This does not include, okay, the uh, holiday session, you know, session yesterday. Um, I, that doesn't come into my composite into this chart until today. So uh, we'll have to watch that. The overall price Going back to October the 16th is here at 80.50. Uh, key lines for us today uh, are going to be, first one is going to be this 90, uh, 75 above us. But the 97 um, is still going to be the big one above us. Uh, it is the uh, value area high of the longer term value area that we're inside of uh, again. Uh, so if we break out of and we've we've uh, gone up to a high of 97 uh, on uh, yesterday's session and uh, challenged that a couple times, uh, we went up uh, overnight to 96. So that level is holding, and we've got to pay attention to it. And if we can't get above it, then uh, we're likely to rotate back down into this area between the 86.75 and the 78.50. The big level below us is going to be the 74.50 or more importantly, the 20.73. And I'm going to talk about that <coughs> because <coughs> we have to start looking at critical mass. So right now, our month open is down here at uh, 73. Our average daily range, 20-day period uh, daily range is you know, running at 24.83, so call it 25. Um, so two times that daily range, because we have two days, we have today, we have Monday to finish the month off, we would have to get all the way down, okay, to 22.75 based on where we're trading uh, and where the month open is uh, to hit critical mass to the downside. That's not likely going to happen. Our weekly ATR is running at 73.76 and off of the, uh, the monthly high at 20.98 and a quarter. We're not likely to hit the downside ATR target. Now, I say we're not likely to hit. We never know what's going to happen, but we're going to have light volume today, so I doubt we're going to give any major trend day today. And we would basically have to move 50 points uh, today and Monday to, uh, to get to the uh, daily uh, or the weekly downside. The daily downside <clears throat> target is here at 71 and a quarter. Completely possible for us to come down into this 21 and a quarter, even this 67.50 down to the 62 and back into that uh, key area below us. Don't know if it's going to happen. And that would put us below the month open. The critical mass to the upside okay, right now, is here at 22.75. And we have two days left, okay, this critical mass will come down, okay, somewhere based on where we, uh, where we finish up today, because tomorrow, then we only got one day of uh, average true range, and this, this critical mass will move. But right now, today, if we get above 22.75, then critical mass could kick in and we could get a rally and our weekly ATR target is 21.39 and a quarter. The other thing that's interesting is that 
based on that statistical probability of doing a, uh, a, a return of greater than 5% in October and a year-to-date positive return, uh, we have an average mean on November of 2.31. Therefore, okay, that puts us based on the month open at this 2120 area and coming in to uh, get close to critical mass. I think critical mass may not come into effect, but we have to see how today pans out. If we get into the 2100s today, the daily ATR target to the upside is 2108. So we're, we're quite easily in range of uh, hitting that uh, you know, daily ATR target. I think all the risk is to the upside right now, unless we get below this 83 area. Then I got to think that the bears are going to try to push it down towards the uh, the month open to give them a shot tomorrow at getting us into a negative November. So a lot of things to uh, to take into effect. Now we have two days. We have to call it a day and a half uh, of consideration. You know we have this holiday session up here from yesterday, and then we have. Uh, you know, Wednesday sessions. Wednesday session is going to take precedence over yesterday's holiday, but you know we've got uh, we've got both le well, levels to watch on the upside. So let's take a look at the uh, overnight. Overnight high is up here above the value from yesterday at 96, and our overnight low is down here at close to the range low from Wednesday, or right at the range low from Wednesday at 83 and a quarter. Our overnight VPOC is at 88.75, which is right at the uh, close from Wednesday and one tick above our, uh, our v naked VPOC from Friday. So we're, I mean, from uh, from Wednesday. We're going to open up inside a range and inside a value. Uh, our value area high on Wednesday is also 2090. I don't know why it's not showing here. I must have erased it. Let me just do something here for a second. Oh, there it is right there. It's just being covered by the uh, range high. So... Basically, we're going to be opening up inside a range and inside of the prior day. We don't calculate this half day as the prior day. It's really part of today. Um, so my first trade level to the upside is going to be this 2090.50, the value area high and the range high from the RTA session on Wednesday. And then my lower uh, trade level is going to be this 86.50. And this is pretty much going to be a no man's trade area for me between here. I think we'll probably uh, challenge both. I think if we break above the 90.50, I'm going to do the upside numbers first. Uh, if we break above the 90.50, I'm going to be char uh, I'm going to need to be targeting 92.50, but I'll be watching, really looking for them to come up and fill this in by coming down and testing yesterday's holiday session uh, at 93 and a quarter. And then I'm going to be using that as a trade area because above that, I want to get long into this uh, 94.75 naked VPOC from the holiday session and the midpoint and the open and the VWAP. It's all right there between 94.75 and 90.50. I'm actually going to put a target at uh, sorry, 95, uh, not 9050. And then above it, the 95 really doesn't come into play. It's the 96 that's more important to me. So that's my target. And then I've got that 97 area, which is the high from the uh, from the uh, from the holiday session. But more importantly, it's my key line in the sand. And uh, if we break above that, then I'm looking for a run into the 2100s, and I'll 
to use 2100 as another trade area, but I'm really targeting the 0350, 0550, and the daily upside target, and possibly the rule of 10 up here, and that fractal high that we've got at 2110 on the RTH daily. And then I'm not looking to fade anything in the 2100s. Uh, in fact, I'm really not looking to fade anything okay until I'm not looking short I'm buying dips as long as we hold above uh, the 83 uh, you know and a quarter level and I'm going to use that as a trade level as well and then below that if we do get below that then I'll be thinking a move back towards that 7850 with a target at the 8050 remember 8050 is the uh, current microcomposite VPOC, the 7850 is the current uh, composite VPOC, and then below that uh, I've got a target at 77, uh, you know, uh, I really don't have anything here at the 75, 75 anymore, it's all going to be about this uh, 74 and a quarter in the month open, and really, you really can't even use the 74 and a quarter as a uh, line in the sand, I really think you've got to move this down okay underneath our daily ATR target because if they get below the 73 which to me is the key for the next two days then I think the bears are going to get aggressive and they're going to push us down into the 62 uh, 60 level and takes back into the uh, FOMC meeting uh, number uh, we're currently going to be in balance and in range Sounds strange because we were up here yesterday's holiday session, but it's really here that's more important because this is where the traders were. These were holiday scalpers, and uh, it's going to be choppy coming into the uh, session. We have to wait to see uh, if we get any OTF participation. I doubt we will, and we're likely, uh, my main hypothesis is a trading range basically between this 97.50 and this 83 and a quarter today. If we get below the 83 and a quarter, then I'm thinking, okay, they're going to push it down and they're going to try to make a run down to the, uh, to the year uh, open at 73 and give the Bears a shot on Monday. I don't think we'll actually get there today, but we do have the range to do it. Okay, so they could, you know, the Bears could try to early on push it down here, uh, and then we'll see how much inventory and how much conviction the buyers have to keep us above that 73. Anything below 73, look for a trend day and a drift down into the afternoon, down into the 62 area. But if we hold the uh, the 83 and a quarter, even come down and and uh, and jump from the 78.50, 80 level, and get back up inside a range, then I'd be looking for a, a slow grind up the rest of the day up here to take out the 95 and uh, test the, uh, the overnight high. If we leave, if we don't break and we don't take out this 83, and they've been doing that lately, is they've been coming down close to the overnight low, buyer stepping in and then pushing us through. Uh, if that happens again today and we break out of this 90-50, just make sure you're long because you're, you know, you don't want to be fading that type of uh, action because they're going to go for that overnight high and likely go for the range high and push into the 2100s today. I don't think critical mass is going to come into play today. It's really going to be all about what they do today to put them in a position to whether or not they keep November uh, a uh, bullish month or get below that 73. Don't know what's going to happen. It's going to be interesting trading today for sure. So keep it tight. Keep it light. There's not going to be a lot of volume. Uh, so the algos are probably going to be in charge and they're probably going to whip it, you know, eight, uh, six to eight ticks at a time. So just understand that, you know, you know, uh, stops of uh, eight ticks could be hit in in mere seconds. So you really have to be uh, patience. Uh, you know, have patience today. Currently, right now, we have just uh, popped off of the uh, 87 and a quarter. We're above the Keltner center line, uh, coming back up into this 88. I expect this 88.50 to be taken out uh, sometime uh, between now and the open, or just after the open. Uh, you could be long right now off of this 87 and a quarter and hold to get this 88.50. Uh, I'm not in a trade right now. 
the uh, upside uh, Keltner right now is at 93.50, so that puts us into the uh, the test of the range low from the holiday session. Uh, below the 87 and a quarter, move down to the lower Keltner is going to take us down into that 81 and uh, you know take out the overnight low and uh, challenge this 80.50 uh, microcomposite VPOC. So that's what I'm looking at uh, in terms of the ES. In terms of gold, well, gold's just uh, still struggling here. You know, we're just uh, chopping around. Uh, we have this value uh, here at the 1070. Uh, 73, 70, uh, 74 uh, level is uh, our key line above. If we get above that, I'm looking for a move to test the range high. Um, you really should be looking to trade the December contract. I haven't rolled the, the uh, December contract on my charts yet. Uh, I will be doing that uh, end of today and over the weekend um, and moving over and rolling. I should have done it already, but, uh, you know, uh, I just didn't get a chance uh, to do it uh, yet. Um, below the uh, – and, the, and the, uh, the spread is pretty tight right now. I haven't looked at it this morning, but I imagine when I looked at it uh, yesterday, it was uh, ticks. And below uh, the 65, then I think we get a move and a, a bigger move down. Uh, it's so important for them to accept this value here right now uh, in the 67, 68 range and uh, get back above that uh, 73.90. I won't be trading gold today anyway. Anyway, that's what I'm looking at. As always, trade well, trade safe, and we'll catch you on the flip side.